Hello everyone, this is Fragger here from Achima Hunter here to the next episode of Retroactive, where it's October, so fuck it, spooky games! This week's spooky game is... Clive Barker's Undying. Clive Barker's Undying was released in February of 2001 and was developed by DreamWorks Interactive, which then became E-Los Angeles and now are known as Danger Close. They've made a ton of games, including the Medal of Honor series, so they've done a lot. But on Clive Barker's Undying, this is an awesome first-person shooter that meshes magic, horror, and just all that great stuff in the one fairly fucked up package. It's one of my all-time favorites. In this game, he plays Patrick Galloway, a World War I veteran who's out to help out his friend Jeremiah, who saved him during the war. And you end up at his house, and strange shit starts happening, and you start using magic and shooting things with guns, because that's the logical course of action. Throughout, you unravel a mystery about some standing stones, which have magical powers, undead relatives, and things in general that are just plain fucked up. Story aside, the combat in this game is pretty good, with you having the ability to use magic, and your guns whenever you feel like doing, with a system that's fairly similar to the one of the Bioshock series, with the aesthetics itself almost looking like Bioshock 2. Speaking of the weapons in this game, you'll go throughout picking up a ton of different weapons and spells, ranging from a shotgun, a scythe, and a dragon that shoots ice, and, and on the magic end, you have abilities like the ability to see fucked up things whenever you turn it on, and ectoplasm, which is kind of like your ranged magic missile type thing. Pretty much throughout most of this, you're playing inside of Jeremiah's mansion. But things will get kind of weird when you go to this hell realm filled with demons and flying things. Once again, it's a Clive Barker game. What the fuck were you expecting from this? Something sane? Did you play Clive Barker's Jericho? No? Well, okay then. If you were expecting something sane. Oops. But all in all, it's a fantastic game. And it's one of those few that is genuinely creepy and honestly got to me a few times when I was playing. I've played tons of horror games, some of them you're going to be seeing this month, but more modernly with stuff like, you know, Dead Space and the Resident Evil franchise, it would be honestly super nice to see a genuinely great creepy game come out. One that literally just fucks with you in the entire time. I mean, pretty much every single monster has its own killing move on you. That's just kind of spectacular in a lot of ways. But that kind of brings me to what I would like to see done with this. I mean, maybe a remake? I don't know. I don't know how popular this thing would be. Then again, we did get Alice Madness Returns. Maybe a sequel then? They wanted to make a sequel, but nobody fucking played the first game. This is when I get to go into the not very used third option. I would love to see a game of this type happen again. We've had very few genuinely creepy first person shooters. The last major attempt at, attempt at that has been of course Amnesia, but it's a running away simulator at the most part. I like a game where you can fight back, but it's not always great to fight back. So I would love to see the kind of middle ground between fear and Amnesia, which is Undying does a great job at making you feel uneasy and does a great job of making you feel terrified of opening up a door. Well, that's going to do it for my thoughts on this, and we'll see you guys next week for another creepy, creepy game.